be captivated by the scenery and relive it in times that transcend the moment of now. Because I believe in destiny as much as I do in the power of our tongue. I use mine to rewrite history, to realign what's scattered and to redefine the stigmas. I believe in the necessity of sharing our stories, to release ourselves from them, to uncover the hidden, to evolve and grow beyond them. So don't just see me as I stand here today, but rather locate me by my vision. For I trust that in times to come, the mission of the words I utter will serve their purpose. Remember me by my name as they do. Even though he didn't write those words nor utter them, I can imagine how Nelson Mandela must have felt as a man with a vision that was misunderstood, resisted, and consciously or unconsciously overlooked. Just like him, a man with a mantle of many colors, I have an ideal that I want to live for, one that I hope to see realized. As a person who aspires to see people thrive in their area of interest, I'm dedicated to helping them play to their true strength, to help them navigate the complexities of being in this doing world, intentionally transparent and in community. I believe in togetherness as the key to enhancement of the whole, in stories that uncover what's beneath the surface so that we can listen from heart to heart rather than speak from mouth to mouth just for the sake of it. In retrospect, the life of Nelson Mandela teaches me about the importance to dream, to look beyond and above the realities at hand. His fight against injustices exemplifies that the race of seeing one's ideal manifested is a race that is not for the swift. As a young black woman born and bred in the Netherlands with Ghanaian roots, I've encountered several instances that highlight that Mandela's fight is still relevant today. Among many, my moments of dystopia involve being singled out because of my foreign background, being looked at with suspicion or with concern just because I look different than the status quo. Yet in spite of it, the pursuit of Nelson Mandela inspires me to hope and to hold on to a utopia. In my case, that is a place of understanding and unity in diversity. Fueled by the determination to debunk toxic notions and misconceptions, I continue my journey towards the land of milk and honey, knowing very well that I might not be the one to taste its sweetness or experience the quench of thirst. <laughs>